For many years, this summit has opened with a video welcome from someone who would not logically be expected to be at the event, yet someone who would inspire all of us at the event. The lineup has included, among others, Frank DeFord, Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito Jr., Bill Marriott Jr., Roger Goodell from the NFL, David Stern from the NBA, retired four-star Army General Ann Dunwoody, General Colin Powell, former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, and Mike Breen of ESPN ABC fame. Well, tonight it is my turn, and I know, I know, not quite the stature of those I just mentioned, but I feel my video presence will be a reasonably good substitute for me being on hand in Riverside. I am not with you tonight by design. I announced during the past months that I was stepping down as president of NESO. It seems to me that a 40-year term of office is just about enough for the governor and the governed. I wanted to step down while NESO was in a particularly positive place and while I was in a very positive place. At the same time, I did not want to be a distraction to the important work being accomplished at this summit, and that was accomplished during Saturday's Officiate California Day. I wanted to ensure that the focus of those at the summit would shift away from me and to newly elected President Bill Topp and the team he is now leading. But more on that in a moment. Please allow me a short history lesson. First came Referee Magazine in 1976, and then four years later came the National Association of Sports Officials that we call NASO. For more than four decades, I have had the joy of expending my energy and my thoughts to both organizations. Today, the company that publishes this magazine, Referee Enterprises, Inc., REI, and NASO are joined at the hip, the shoulder, the head, and the knee. REI's employees serve as the full-time staff for NESO. Our entire team is not only the finest team of officiating content producers on planet Earth, it is also an exemplary management, administrative, and member services staff for NESO. We have evolved into a seamless collaboration on behalf of sports officials. Now, it has been an immense privilege for me to serve as president of NESO since its inception in 1980. The founding idea I had was this, to provide benefits, services, protection, and support to the men, women, and young people who officiate sports. In addition to doing that, NESO was nudged and exhorted onto a course that has led it to become the leading advocate on behalf of those who officiate sports. I formally stepped down from the president's role on July 1st. Nothing or no one forced me nor has lobbying me to step down, except maybe the snarky nudges from special advisor Ron Foxcroft and NESO treasurer Bill Carollo, in all seriousness, both dear friends of mine to this day. This is not about health. This is not about loss of interest. This is not about agedness per se but it is about energy and staying power. The demands being made upon the association have never been greater, never more important. Our staff has never been more energized nor filled with enthusiasm to support sports officials. A unique team we have here at REI NESO. Now, though I have stepped down from my visible formal role, I will continue to be fully supportive of the association and its ongoing advocacy. I like to say that while I am leaving the stage, I am not leaving the building. It is just that I will not serve as the public spokesperson for the association nor serve as its public persona. Those roles will be ably fulfilled by Bill Topp, who also serves as the Chief Operating Officer of Referee Enterprises, Inc. During its April meeting, the NESO board unanimously elected Bill to become NESO president, which took effect this past July 1st. Bill and I have worked hand in glove on all matters NESO for many years. There is no finer professional better suited 
to become the second president of NESO. I will continue in my role as Chief Strategy Officer and Publisher at Referee Enterprises. That means I will be hands-on and working in the office as I have for almost 50 years. I will be a resource, able to be tapped by our staff and by NESO and its Board of Directors as they see fit. I much look forward to staying in close contact with many of you as needed. President Topp and his team will undoubtedly enable NASO to serve its members and to serve the ever-widening pool of organizations and entrepreneurs who together comprise the sports officiating industry. This journey with NASO has been such an honor and a privilege. And now to close. I would be remiss if I did not give a shout out to the organizations and the companies that have made this 41st NESO Summit possible. Our summit support organizations, I refer to them as SSOs. I have been intimately involved in our SSO program since its inception. I'm ecstatic to proclaim that for the Riverside Summit, we are enjoying the highest number of SSOs in our history 100 organizations, associations, and companies pitched in their resources to make this event possible. I am truly humbled by the history-setting number. To me, that number bespeaks the importance and the value of the summit to all of us in this industry. Take pride in that knowledge. And let's not overlook the wonderful accomplishments of Officiate California Day. Kudos to the team at the CIF Southern Section under the leadership of Rob Weigod and the CIF State Office under Ron Nochetti for putting their brains and their brawn behind making yesterday an historic one for the officials in California. Okay, once this grand opening is completed and you have enjoyed the wonderful welcome reception later tonight, you will have two very full days of educational programming to engage in. Topics and presentations that will make a difference in your officiating life and in your undertakings. They will instruct, they will impact, they will influence, and they will give you insights. Plus, of course, the summit presents the finest opportunity to network with so many others in officiating. Many sports, all levels, and from a wide range of disciplines. Enjoy the days ahead. Thank you, and please don't hesitate to stay in touch.